Lee. Great job. Through the Perkins Smart Braille, we've created a product that will um, revolutionize the Braille learning experience. Braille the letter Y. Y, well done. Next question. Our students have an epiphany when they touch the Braille on the page and they hear it spoken to them for the first time. C's. C, C, C. It's a mechanical device that we're converting into an electronic device. This is a Windows computer basically on the front of this Brailler. This technology incorporated into Smart Brailler has really propelled uh, Braille and the Brailler into modern times and made it more relevant. Perkins Smart Brailler. Perkins' mission as a whole is to expand Braille literacy. Being able to read and write Braille is really about being literate. If you can read and write Braille, uh, you are literate. Braille gives that to a person who is blind or visual impaired. That's how Braille works. It's very tactile, it's very intimate, it's very interactive. You don't get enough of that when you just download books. I knew nothing about Braille coming in, and, and I see the challenge. It's all about finding tools to communicate, right? Everything we do is finding a tool to communicate with others. And so this Smart Brailler really ties into that. How can we make it easier for you as a, as a student, as a student who's blind or vision impaired to learn, but also as a parent or a teacher who's supporting that child? How do you want to be in that process? How do you want to learn Braille and how do you want to support them? And really listening to them as to what they need. And what we found was they need that screen, they need that window into Braille. They need that window, that screen to decode Braille. Braille the letter Y. W. Sorry. Try again. Y. Well done. Next question. You know, give that instantaneous feedback of when I press the Braille keys, what is it I'm pressing? The first time I saw an adult who is blind that was afraid of learning Braille actually touched the keys and heard the Perkins Smart Braille speak back the letters. He had a smile on his face, that fear just kind of fell away. Obstacles to learning just kind of evaporated. The confidence that it gave the children, the teachers were saying, you know, they would see them type the, on the Braille keys and get that instantaneous feedback and the children would just light up because the smart Braille was telling them they got the right answer. Well, let's see you make a D on the Braille. D! This is awesome, huh? No, this is awesome. Finally, parents and teachers are able to support their child or students in a much more effective way. They can kind of sit to the side of their child and actually see in real time what they're brailing. There's the two A's. Let's try Apple. E. Without even knowing braille, they can see on the, visually on the screen what they're brailing. And that kind of interaction we've seen just be incredible. Now that Perkins uh, School for the Blind and Perkins Products has entered the world of technology, where does the smart brailer go from here? Main menu, file, users, apps. We've also been experimenting with apps that complement the Perkins Braille platform. Applications go onto mobile devices, mobile devices parents and teachers use. I think the Smart Braille will have an amazing impact on how te uh, parents and their children interact. It certainly inspires us to think about new things and to try to help Perkins come up with the next big thing. the words, see the letters, connect the dots. To learn more, visit us at smartbrailer.org.